And this morning's Coffee With? Is with Duff Goldman. Duff Goldman staring down our cameras. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Celebrity <laughs> chef, Charm City Cakes. We love when you stop by. I love coming. Wish I was doing this inside your shop, though. It smells like heaven in there. It does. It always smells like cake. People walk in, they're like, wow, it smells like cake in here. I'm like, like yeah. isn't that weird? That's kind of what we do. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about um, charity instead of cakes, though. You're with the Maryland Breakfast Challenge. Mm -hmm. You guys have teamed up. Um, tell us first about how you got involved with them. Well, you know, Food Network and No Kid Hungry are, are are really close partners and so you know feeding kids is something that you know if you ask a chef like hey can you help us out you know we got to feed hungry kids every chef's gonna be like of course I'm gonna mm -hmm. do everything I can you know any 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 sort of cause involved with feeding people is something that's very near and dear to every chef's heart because that's what we do we feed people for a living and so when no kid hungry got got in touch with with the Maryland school system and they put the put the breakfast challenge together it was great, man. We fed so many kids. All these kids are eating breakfast now, and it's such a great thing. It's so great, because I looked at some of these facts on NoKidHungry.com. One in five kids struggle with hunger. Three in five Maryland teachers say students come to school hungry, and the majority of the teachers say the problem is getting worse. Yeah. That's yeah, it really upsetting. Is. It really is, and I, I think it's because, you know, our, our lives are so hectic, and, mm -hmm. like, you know, th those things that, you know, as you're going throughout your day, like, there's things that get cut out of your day because you're so busy going to the gym, things like that, and also eating breakfast is one of the, it's one of the first things to go because you're always running around in the morning, and you're, you're never taking enough time to sit down 15, 20 minutes and just eat a breakfast. And these kids are going to school. You need fuel, mm -hmm. right? These kids get to school. They need, they need fuel up here so they can learn, and if they're not eating breakfast, are just zombies all day. Yeah, they'll do better in school. Mm -hmm. They'll attend more classes, more likely to graduate, all if they eat breakfast. Just, just by eating breakfast. Yeah, it's amazing. And um, it's also by bringing the breakfast into the schools, you're making it so breakfast is accessible to every kid because every kid's running around at home, then they get to school. They have to be at school at a certain time. That's why they're rushing. They get to school and they're there. Now they're captive. Now we can feed them all breakfast. So tell us about this event that you just wrapped up. Uh, it was really fun, right? <laughs> it was really fun. It was kind of celebrating the progress you guys have made. Yeah, it was, it was celebrating the school too because they fed the most kids in the state of Maryland. It was really great. And we we, we like played all these games. We were drawing pictures. We were like, we had like a breakfast trivia challenge, and I like beat all the kids too. <laughs> well, that's not fair. Yeah, it's totally fair. That is not it is fair. Totally You're going fair. up against little kids. <laughs> hey man, life's cruel, you know. You gotta... <laughs> so which school was this? This was Red House Run Elementary. Red House Run Elementary. And how were they able to make? so many changes to get all these kids breakfast like what was their success story you know, what they did was not only were they serving breakfast in the cafeteria but they were also serving breakfast in their in in their homerooms and also they were putting breakfast on carts and bringing it around oh, wow. so they were making sure that the kids like even if classes had started they were still getting them breakfast so it was like okay you got to school you have five minutes to eat breakfast right. like, they were making it so it wasn't this rush crazy thing and, and they were making sure that every kid who was hungry got the breakfast that's the cart idea is a great Great idea. I mean, it works with food trucks driving around cities. Why wouldn't it work in a school with, you know, like bringing around a car? Like, hey, who needs breakfast? Like, I would definitely eat that breakfast. <laughs> so, this is something that's going to continue and maybe next year, a different school will win the top prize. I hope so. That'd be definitely. cool. Yeah, it'd be awesome. So, for someone watching who says, I want to help, I want to get involved, where should they go for more um, information? They should go to uh, nokidhungry.org or shareourstrength.org. What is it? Nokidhungry.org. Nokidhungry.org. Yeah. Great. And real quick, Time we have left. Talk about some upcoming projects you might have that we're always looking forward to seeing. Oh man, on TV I have a, I have and a brand new show coming out. It's uh, the Spring Baking Championship. Wait a minute. So this is your like third new show in two months. <laughs> Fourth. So what's this one? So this one is all spring baking. So all the spring holidays, Mother's Day, Easter, oh, wow. lots of weddings, things like that. And it's, spring baking is really tricky. You know, it's holidays are easy. You know, I mean, not easy, but you know, cinnamon, gingerbread, things like that. Like, there's a lot of baked goods that go with the holidays. Spring baking is really tricky. Okay. You know, it's a good show. Baltimore's own Duff Goldman. Thanks for being with us. We always love when you're in oh, town. Thank you so Whenever much. you're pleased, I'll buy and see us. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll be right back now with first warning weather and a look at traffic coming up. It's WJZ.